Lovely to meet you, gentlemen. Welcome to Fright Fest. Now, I'm a, a child of the 80s, so I remember Cruel Summer being a Banana Rama record. Um, but I imagine. Oh, no, Can You Wear Short Film, yeah. I don't think your, your story is probably based on either of those, is it? No, not at all. Tell us a bit more about it. Well, yeah, in. well, it's, a, it, it's a, a film that portrays pretty much the lives of four teenagers over a day. And it basically escalates from a, a lie that snowballs through rumour after rumour after rumour that ends in a very violent and tragic crime at the end of the day. And, and what was the kind of inspiration behind the story? Um, the inspiration was, we, we wrote it in 2013 where there was a lot of um, press coverage on youth-related violence and youth-related crime. So um, we just explored those stories that we were seeing in the press and we really um, wanted to draw from those particular articles and we really wanted to tap into how and why uh, people that are so young can be encouraged, manipulated or peer pressured into committing such horrendous and brutal crimes. And it, there's obviously a psychology behind this so did you then go and explore different areas of psychology to then better inform you, the characters that you're writing? Uh, no, luckily the actors, they they think, I think the actors know the sort of people that we're trying to portray because everyone can relate to these characters from their, from their lives. Everyone's grew up with these kids at one point. They may have even been these kids. So luckily, we didn't really have to go into much psychological detail as they, we're trying to do characters and they're so young. So it, you know, we didn't really think about psychology overall, really. When you take away the, the violence of Cruel Summer, what you're still left with is a situation that a lot of probably young people find themselves in whereby a rumour goes around about them or that is somehow attached to them and how they sort of react to that and the embarrassment and the uh, and how they want to some redeem themselves and sometimes it's done with violence. And you're seeing your film here at Fright Fest. Was, was that a difficult process for you to, to, to do? And what advice have you got for people that want to enter their films into Fright Fest? Uh, it's a case of knowing your, your market, I suppose, as we always knew Cross Summer would be a great sort of film for a festival like this that really embraces the dark heart of cinema. So, yeah, um, when we were writing it, we knew it wasn't a typical horror as such that it didn't have a... a a lot of gore or there was no sort of it wasn't a creature feature but we knew that the uh, the events that we depict in it um, were so strong and horrific that horror audiences would respond well to it